Welcome everybody to our channel. I'm Teresa. Today's video is a continuation of my previous video. This is part two for more inspiration and ideas for tiered trays and for budget friendly decor to go on your tray. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram. Like I mentioned in my video um, part one, this tray right here I did for Easter, and I'm just going to repurpose the parts to it. And in my previous video, I used the base, and on this, I'm going to use the springform pans, and I just repainted them cream. I went out to Graphics Fairy, and I printed out some graphics, and I'm going to use um, Elmer's, um, I mean, Gorilla Spray Adhesive to adhere them to the, the cake pans. And then I'm going to take some candlesticks that I bought at a yard sale, and I actually repurposed these in a, in a previous video. And I will link all these videos in the description box. They were brown, and I chalk painted them, and I did one in mineral and one in cream. And I'm going to use the cream colored one, and I'm going to use um, Gorilla Adhesive Glue, and this bonds really well. And then I'm going to put a little hot glue just to secure it till the glue dries. I let this sit for two to three hours until the glue bonded and now it's ready to decorate and if you watch my previous video you will see that I like greenery more greenery and florals in my tear trays so I'm gonna put less um, items in it but more florals and more greenery and the way you can make something to make your center rise is little cupcake holders and I'm giving you a couple examples of how what I'm going to put in the center in the top of mine and then that way you can add you know vintage bottles you can add um, birds you can add picture frames you can add whatever you want to the center of it to be your statement piece Okay, inspo number two is going to be another springform pan, and I got all of these pans at a thrift store, and I probably paid 50 cents each. This one was already black. Someone, I guess, had already worked on it for a project, and all the worn little chippy look, I like that. I left it as is. I, I purchased it this way, but I thought, you know, I love the character to it. You've seen me repurpose this base. This was out of a thrift haul. From the treasure chest i paid two dollars for it and i spray painted it white and i used it also i've already used it in a previous video but it makes a great base for a tray and i'm going to just show you how well it'll complement that springform pan again i use gorilla spray adhesive to apply my graphics that i got from graphics fairy i embellished it and also on the on the right side there's you can see there's like a little stain I don't know where that come from but I left it I thought it had a little character so you could also distress around your graphic if you wanted to to go that route too but now I'm just gonna sit back let y'all listen to some music and I'm gonna show y'all several ways you can embellish your trays 
and get, let y'all get lots of inspiration and ideas of what you can do with it. Hope you're enjoying the video so far and if you are please hit that like button it really helps out our channel we really appreciate it I'm also featuring my beautiful roses I received from Rose Forever of New York. If you are interested in shopping their website, I'm going to leave a link to their website down below in my description box.
If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, we'd love for you to. And also, if you know someone that would enjoy this video, please share it with your friends and family. And until the next video, I hope y'all have a great week and I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching, y'all.